color for me has to stimulate an emotion. It has to either shock, please. It has, you have to feel something when you look at color. It's a powerful, powerful tool color. And if you don't get the best out of it, you're not using the best and most powerful design element. process of developing color, you do have to think about not just one color, but many colors, and how they interact with each other. It's almost like setting up a dinner party. <laughs> you want to make sure all your dinner guests get on well, and they mix well. Colors are kind of like that for me. Carvico is a company that sells primarily to the swimwear industry, to the active industry, intimate apparel industry. So I tend to like to think about those businesses and how, how the, the product is utilized in a final product and the lifestyle that goes around it. How, let's say, women are wearing bathing suits today what they're trying to communicate at the beach or at the seaside or at the country club or you know if it's in their home or out at the beach or in the south of France or in the Hamptons or in Malibu or you know in Asia or in Saudi Arabia I mean there's such a big world The play of color has evolved a lot in the last few years. The ability to mix very odd marriages together, and that's the most exciting thing for me. Um, so I try to create um, eight palettes that, not palettes, eight storyboards that could have the amazing ability to intermix with each other. seas, green seas, algaes, all of these different elements came together. We start from the most translucent shades to a more saturated, to a more eclectic blue, to the new darks. And I love these tones down here. You get a whole new sophistication to the traditionals of blue for swimwear. Look at this color with the yellow mixed into the blue, turning into almost a greeny jade. You see a color palette that's very redefined. Take this color and put it in a darker environment and put it in a lighter environment, it's going to re-evolve again. Magic. There's something pure about white, something clean about white. People in general love white because it, it's, it's kind of like an, a fundamental element that they need in their style. But there's shades of white. White's not just one white, there's many shades of white. And the beauty of white is that it captures form in a very powerful way. I think in swimwear, it's so exciting because, you know, whether people worship their son or they don't worship their son, they're showing their body and white is such an important, powerful and also very glamorous element. You can mix tones of white, like a white with a, d a dash of pink in it, white with a dash of 
uh, yellow in it, uh, white with a dash of green in it. You know, any of these colors can evolve. The word bright is kind of so obsolete. What's considered bright? What's considered dark? You know, it has to have more character than just being bright or dark. Um, what I see as the new brights are these very saturated colors. They're dark, but they're bright. So they evolve into what I call electric. Is this orange? It has a lot of red into it. It could change depending on the light. You know, what is this? Is it fuchsia? Is it purple? Is it violet? It's just a beautiful color. Look at this age of innocence next to this tonality here or look at this age of innocence next to these colors, or take this color and look at it here against here, all of a sudden this age of innocence isn't so innocent. It becomes sexy. I tend to like to block the colors, mix the colors, show the marriages. Odd marriages, odd marriages work, you know? Odd marriages work really well, actually. Um, and from here, I came up with the new neons. What we tried to do was develop some new neons. Like, I love this tangerine neon. It's not just orange neon. It's like a tangerine, you know? Like, these colors here, they're like coral neons. Let's go make interesting marriages. Is it an almost brown? Is it gray? But look at it against this. That is totally wild. And I, I just think it's so chic. And, and look at it against this color. All of a sudden, this becomes so much more sophisticated than just being a harsh neon. It becomes a really sophisticated neon. We can't make neons in all fabrics because of the color fastness. But in, in this fabric, in swimwear fabrics, in certain types of jerseys, they can last forever. So they will not evaporate, but they'll just warm us. For me, I wanted to celebrate the whole lip nail palette. And so I started painting. And I painted, and I painted. Now I want to do a lip collection, <laughs> a lipstick collection for Carbico. So what I did was we painted and painted. I used nail polishes. I used my watercolors. I used everything imaginable. And this is the palette we came up with. And it's a very, very exciting palette. I mean, look at those colors. If that doesn't stimulate your eye and your heart, tangerine corals, uh, pomegranate, uh, the peonias, the roses, and look how many different shades of red there are. It gives a very graphic form to the body. The body of the color, the body of the form. For me, this is very exciting. When I worked on these darks, I thought, what are they? What are, how do we, how can we storyboard this? And to me, they're quasi, let's say, almost colors. Black, that's ruled our life so much in high fashion, regular fashion, fast fashion, um, we all have it. So what's going to give us that new vibe, that new energy? Because we all need new energy. And that's how these new almost colors have evolved. Is this green? Is it brown? Is it blue? Is it black? 
Who cares? It's exciting. This palette to me is probably one of my most exciting palettes because I think it gives us a chance to regenerate what black symbolized for us for the last 20 years. And I think we need it. And in a way, it gives new life to black. In Desert Chic, I think there's an element of color that whether it's military, whether it's nature. Here we have these olivines, these, these tonalities that really are very rich. When you put them against these or you put them against the almost colors, all of a sudden something else happens. You create another form of magic. And I think what you want to do is have each storyboard have mobility to mix into another storyboard and give that color another life, an added dimension.